Let's talk about fatal familial insomnia. So fatal familial insomnia is caused by the accumulation of misfolded prion proteins in the brain, particularly in the thalamus. This misfolding is caused by a autosomal dominant missense mutation in the prion-related protein gene, PRNP, on chromosome 20. It is a familial disease, so it's rarely sporadic, and the symptoms classically begin in the 40s to 50s, although it can also begin in the teens or the 70s, so the range is really wide. So the main clinical feature is gradual onset insomnia and loss of circadian rhythm activity. So total sleep time will go down. There will be impaired concentration and memory as well as confusion and hallucinations. You can see movement disorders such as myoclonus, Parkinsonism, spasticity, ataxia, and nystagmus. They can speak in a husky voice which is one of the more specific features and they can have dysphagia as well. One unique thing is that they can also have autonomic dysfunction. That's something that you might not see in CJD. And those symptoms can include hyperhidrosis, tachycardia, constipation, and hypertension. So evaluation, the diagnosis can be confirmed with the specific genetic testing for the missense mutation on codon 178 for the PRNP gene. The brain MRI is typically normal, and the PET scan though, it can show reduced glucose utilization in the thalamus, which can help in diagnosis. Polysomnogram will show reduced total sleep time and disrupted sleep architecture. The CSF is typically unrevealing and will not have a positive 1433 and it will have a normal tau and a negative RT quick. Pathology shows neuronal loss and gliosis in the thalamus and cerebellum, but brain biopsy does not play a major role in diagnosis because this disease can spare the cortex. Spongiform degeneration is also rare on pathology. For treatment, there is no known disease modifying agent, so supportive care is the mainstay of treatment. For myoclonus, clonazepam can be helpful, and for any seizures, you'll treat that with anti-epileptic medications. Unfortunately, the prognosis is poor, and this disease is typically uh, fatal and progresses to death in about one year.